Welcome to Tent Talk, the podcast with Nancy McCrady, where we talk about life under the big tent of God's presence and the provoking process of discipleship. Here we go. Hey everybody, welcome to Tent Talk. This is Nancy McCrady. Today's fresh episode of Twist, The Way I See Things, focuses in on the necessary table fellowship that we have with him and with each other. And the entire point of it is that our eyes might be opened and we might know him. It's going to have everything to do with the responsibility that we are gladly willing to take on to be an open door for God into this hour of history. So listen to the details of this episode, and I pray that it encourages you. And I pray that you will share Tent Talk with others uh, so that we can uh, increase the audience and be able to get the message out. So if you would help us in that, we would greatly appreciate it. Share it, recommend it, like it, subscribe. All of these things that we do, but the point of it is to get the message out and to be able to connect with others as we all walk together this breed of fellowship here under the big tent of God's presence. Love you all. Thanks for listening today. Hey everybody, here we are again. I want to talk about here on this fresh episode of Twist, the way I see things. When it says in the scripture in 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5, it says, inasmuch as we refute these arguments. Now, when it says in as much as, that means to the measure with which you meet these arguments, every proud and lofty thing, all right? And remember, it says in as much as we. So you might would say in as much as I refute. So to what measure are you refuting and proving wrong with evidence every proud and lofty thing that keeps exalting itself above the knowledge of God, right? It's in that measure to which we will demolish, destroy strongholds so that the things that have been protecting us, the thoughts that have been keeping us from having to face maybe painful truth, the strongholds of where we run for comfort, all of these kinds of things that are still lodged in the soul, okay, that those things begin to be demolished so that whatever they've been guarding, your pain, your trauma, whatever they are, now you as the new man get to decide now to bring them to the Father so that they can be truly dealt with. Okay, so that may be more for another day. But these words, in as much as, that means to the measure, okay, to the degree, to the um, uh, frequency, how often do you refute So sometimes strongholds are not demolished because we like do it once or twice and then we grow weary and we just fall back into letting the stronghold take care of us. We say, oh, it's just too much. Okay, so I'm going to suggest to you, my friends, that every time, in as much as, if the lie comes 12 times an hour, my friends, get ready. You're going to need to meet it with the truth, with real evidence, uh, 12 times an hour, each time, to the degree and to the measure with which you refute. Because, my friends, the truth has got to go deeper than the lie. And we let the lie come, whether we realized it or not, we let the lie come over and over and over again. We've allowed stupidity to take up root inside of us again and again and again. We've tolerated vain thoughts and proud and lofty things against God again and again and again. And now that God exposes that and you've come into agreement with him, you see those things, how deeply rutted in the soul that those things are and how much they're controlling you. There comes a place not in some burst of excitement, spiritual excitement, right? The revelation may come and it's phenomenal, but now we've got to shift gears and get into the reality. If that's going to, if the revelation is going to become reality to you, you're going to live literally in the truth. 
and the truth is going to actually set you free. Every time you become aware that that thought, that lie, is swirling about controlling you, and depending on the depth that it's had control over you, you could be three days into it and then suddenly finally realize the Holy Spirit's been trying to get your attention and show you what's operative, then, my friends, at that moment, you must begin to step forward uh, in the full power of Holy Spirit and uh, begin to fight that fight of faith, to fight and replace that lie with the truth. Lies don't go away because you beg. Lies go away because you replace them with the truth. And I'm going to encourage you, please don't just come with negative thought, two negative thoughts, uh, with positive thoughts. Whether they be negative or positive, you couldn't need to know what's the mind of Christ. God, what is your view on this? What do we think about this? Father, show me the truth that I might now uh, take up the authority that you've given me and that in as much as I refute these arguments, lies, right? We can demolish these strongholds. So you and Holy Spirit can be in partnership about that together. And so, my friends, let me tell you, that can be overwhelming initially because we're like, wow, I had no idea that literally with rapid fire velocity, I was just letting a lie just assault me again and again and again. It just rolled over me and rolled over me. And I was like, yeah, that's true. And oh, my goodness. And over and over. And then when the Holy Spirit makes you aware how much you've been tolerating the voice of the enemy, the voice of flesh, even maybe identifying with the voice of flesh more than identifying with your real true voice and the voice of the spirit. You're like, wow, <laughs> no wonder I've been under such oppression, in depression, frustration, bitterness, resentment, sadness, this, that, and the other is because I have been tolerating these things again and again and again. And so that can be quite overwhelming, and sometimes that's just the first step, right, towards really waging the good and handsome warfare, right, where you are really, really dealing with things as a son, as, a, as one who has the mind of Christ, the mind of the son, right? So I want you to be realistic in this, that initially you might be like, I need to go to bed early tonight because I've been fighting all day. Right, right, because it can be quite overwhelming. But remember now, we got to look at the goal, the, the joy that is set before us, right, is I want to walk and live with my father. I want to live my real true life. Okay, then let's let's begin to deal with this aspect of truly what it means truly to renew our minds. Because we have been transformed already in spirit. Now we need to unleash that transformation from spirit to soul. And to some degree, it can affect the body. The body houses still the presence of sin. So your, your body is eventually going to die, right? And there are going to be some difficulties within the body. But the body can be quickened and can experience as much life as possible, right? If we begin to unleash life from spirit to soul to body. So I want you to wage this good and handsome warfare by the prophetic utterances that God has spoken over you, by his voice, his word, his life that you now deeply share in. This is a part of the abiding oneness that we have. But the Holy Spirit has to be given permission, if you will, for him to expose where the strongholds of lies are that we have believed and that then we have built fortresses around those lies that have allowed behavior and demonic oppression, if you will, depending on the depth of which this affects you, right? So God wants to show you things. He wants to mature the sons into the mind of the son, the mind of Christ. And that, my friends, is quite a beautiful and sometimes brutal ride, but I highly recommend it. So as you are recognizing, wow, I've allowed lies to just rip through me, begin to make the decision of, okay, this is going to be a deep part of my inner world. This is the inner fight of my life. 
mm-hmm. is to meet each lie with the truth. And I'm praying that you will have uh, revealed, revelatory <laughs> truth from conversations between you and God the Father, God the Son, God Holy Spirit at the table at the Father's table, and that they will speak such truth to you and you will take hold of it in such a way that when the lie comes, you unleash that truth and you refute every proud and lofty thing that would dare to speak against God. And you will prove those things wrong with evidence in as much as we And to whatever measure and degree is necessary, my friends, get ready. This is a part of our warfare, to demolish strongholds. Those who are maturing get to make decisions. How much do you want to partner with Holy Spirit to truly bring down the strongholds that are lodged within your uh, soul, Because the soul, my friends, is meant to be a servant to the Spirit, and it gets cleansed and washed by the Word, not just by memorizing Scripture. I'm talking about the Word, what God says, right? So let me just stop there, and I hope this encourages you for today. Think about this uh, as we have these conversations here under the big tent of God's presence. You know, we are... Uh, day by day, moving closer and closer towards the fourth anniversary of Nancy McCready Ministries. And Tent Talk Podcast is the podcast of Nancy McCready Ministries. And on August 2nd, we celebrate the end of four years that God has fully and graciously, lavishly supplied His presence, His voice, the resources uh, for His will to be accomplished simply through us, through our Um, living out this day-to-day assignment with him. I hope that you'll make plans to uh, celebrate with us on August 2nd and that you will um, consider some way of celebrating with us, whether that is a financial offering, whether that is becoming maybe a monthly partner with Nancy McCready Ministries, Uh, that you might decide that that's the time uh, to share some resource of Nancy McCready Ministries uh, with others, maybe to share Tent Talk podcast, uh, maybe to take a day and say, today is the day that I'm going to forward the emails that I'm receiving from Nancy McCready Ministries, that I'm going to encourage someone to join you over at the Producers Way free Facebook group and community. Um, but somehow, some way, would you celebrate with us and make your plans now? Would you start thinking about that and praying about that to celebrate with us on August 2nd, which is going to be our fourth anniversary celebration uh, and anniversary bash? And uh, I'll be talking more about the details of how we'll do that. That's on a Tuesday. And uh, Tuesdays are not usually associated with big celebrations. Usually those are reserved for weekends. But the weekend prior, I'm still on vacation with my family. And the weekend after that, I'm already back in Europe. So on Tuesday, August 2nd, we are going to throw 4th Anniversary Uh, bash and uh, watch for the ways that you can participate in that. So I love you all and come on now, let's fight the fight of faith. I want to be a part of encouraging each and every one of you to step deeper in with him and into your assignment in this hour of history. So I love you all and we will talk soon. For more information on Nancy, please visit nancymccrady.com or follow her on social media at nbmccrady.com.